We've been absolutely teased as collectors over the last few years with this Saludos Amigos paint job for Ramon. And now after four years, Mattel has finally given it to us in the 155 scale form. They did the mini racer last year, which was nice and all, but come on, that's such a tease. Not to mention that in the Meet the Cars book for Cars 3, like the Cars 3 edition, they included this massive shot of him and even a little description. Ramon dons a new paint job as he cheers on cruising lightning at Willie's Butte. Look how amazing it looks. It's like he's a piston cup racer, like kind of like one of those old time legends that race with Doc Hudson. So cool. He's got the sponsors of the Radiator Springs businesses and so... Man, we've wanted this for forever, and yeah, I'm so grateful that he is now being released, and in full force, there are two of him included in 2021 singles case F, and I just unboxed that case. I'll leave the link to it in the description below, along with the card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner. Like I've talked about, like that case is incredible. It's got five new releases in addition to some cool new variants of like Todd Marcus and Brian Sparks. So definitely check it out. And now this is also the ending of our epilogue paint jobs. We got Dianco Cruz Ramirez, Fabulous Light McQueen, and now Saludos Amigos Ramon, which by the way, if you guys don't know, it basically means like cheers friends. Saludos is basically like, you know, regards or cheers, kind of like a greeting as well. There's not a direct translation, but that is kind of what it means. I think like cheers amigos, like cheers friends. It's kind of what they were going for here. Why did he put this paint job on? I don't know. I feel like there's a deeper meaning now. If I really think about it, I could probably come up with some sort of theory. So maybe I'll try and develop that throughout the video. But of course he is new for 2021. This artwork is not the one that they had in that book I just showed you, which is a little weird. So what's weird to me is that they make him look hydraulic, which obviously he's not. So I don't know why they put this art. Maybe they were going to release him hydraulic and ended up not doing it. Who knows? But he's on the Desert Horizon packaging. On the back here, you have some other cars from previous cases and his case too, like Brian Spark, Kurt, Maddie McGear. And these guys were all previously released, like Ducky Fauntleroy, Murray Clutchburn, Jimmy Cables, and Trainer Cruz Ramirez, as seen in Cars 3. All right, guys, I'll be right back with this beautiful car all opened up. Wow, this guy is stunning. I have to say, Saludos Amigos here. This paint job is the most interesting, unique, intricate paint job Mattel has ever done. And honestly, Disney and Pixar in general, the best paint job Ramones ever bared. I love it. So cool. I don't know why he put this on. Like I said, it's very just out of nowhere. Like, does it pertain to a storyline? No, it's just so random. And I really want to dive in, take a closer look at these decals to maybe you know, think about why he has this, the deeper meaning behind it. So yeah, let's get into it. And I did want to say like, yeah, he is the best. Like, come on guys. We love our previous Ramones. Like, you know, Ghost Knight Ramon, you know, you have the intro one. But if we think about it, these are all just colors with pinstriping patterns. Red, blue, orange, purple, you know, they really are. Not to like really undercut them or anything like that. I love them, but this Ramon, it's almost like as if it was out of a video game because it's just so random, but I love it. So yeah, there he is in the movie. There's not really a good shot of him in the movie. Like I would have no idea what any of that says if we didn't get that, you know, meet the cars book artwork. So, you know, very cool. And we're gonna get into it. I'm so excited. All right, first of all, he's got a really nice expression. Just pretty basic look in the head, but I like it. It's different than kind of his typical expression where his eyes are a little further apart and squintier. So we're gonna start here and kind of analyze this. He's celebrating kind of like the mezcla, like the mixture of Mexican and American culture here. So you have the Mexican flag and the American flag, saludos amigos with a blue background along with the silver chrome, which is honestly what makes him look so just sharp. But yeah, Mezcla is like mixture in Spanish and there's a lot of 
know, studies done on like trans culture or Asian. And uh, I don't even know how to say that in English. I could say that in Smash, but basically like how culture has mixed and transformed as people like immigrate to, you know, the United States or vice versa. So his sponsors here are the Pissing Cup, which is interesting. You have Sally's Cozy Cone Motel. You have what looks to be just like an RS logo there for Radio Springs. Right there, Springs Curio Shop for Lizzie. There's tow, Mather Towing and Salvage. Dynaco, the old school Dynaco logo. Sarge Surplus, Luigi and Guido's Casa del Tires. Very interesting. Now, I wish they weren't so blurry. Could look at them a little bit better. Like, I really like the one for the Curio Shop. And these remind me of Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen when it was kind of like that After Cars 2 phase. We never really got an official die cast for it. We got a metallic version of it where he had these sponsors as well. And I might probably pull that out at the end of the video to compare. You have the Mexican flag here, yellow circle, 51 in black, Ramon's House of Body Art Radiator Springs. I like that. So he gives himself a little bit more of a shout out. Oil Pan Americana Rally Mexico. So it's almost like a race, like kind of like a race across the Americas. Here's like a picture of the globe and it's highlighting Latin America and North America. So again, you know, the mixture of the two oil pan Americana. So pan just means like cross kind of like together and across. I feel that's what they're going for here. 51. So he's honoring doc Hudson as well. Gosh, it looks so cool. I feel like the blue, is for Doc Hudson, the yellows maybe for Cruz Ramirez. Oh, maybe that's kind of what it is because Cruz Ramirez obviously is Hispanic. Interesting. Oil Panamericana, you have that Globe logo again, Rally Mexico, loans to the license plate. It's really the only constant. Everything else is so different. Saludos, amigos, and you got the flags again. Love it. He just looks so good. This may end up being in my top five favorite releases of the year. And he was produced in the first week of 2021 at the A factory. Chevrolet, he is a Chevrolet Impala. I'm just so flabbergasted. I don't know what this is supposed to represent, but I absolutely adore it. Now the mini racer is a much lighter blue going on here. That's kind of interesting. All the decals are the same though, and they did a great job of cramming such intricate decals onto a mini. Hmm, wow. So yeah, this guy came out in a three pack a little over a year ago. Very, very impressed with this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, give me your thoughts on this. I'm not asking for a favor. I'm asking for like, what are your thoughts? Like, what do you think this was for? Why is he doing this? Is he celebrating like kind of the passing of the torch from Doc Hudson to Cruz Ramirez? Maybe from Lightning McQueen to Cruz? Who knows? I don't. I'm going to have to really give it some thought. And let's go through some other Ramones here just for laughs and giggles. Obviously, none of these are similar, but still fun to kind of see how they compare. And then I will go snag that Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen so we can take a look at how the decals, more so the contingency sponsors, overlap. I guess they're not really contingency sponsors, but you know that's what Ramon seems to be emulating here because he's painting himself as a race car. If this isn't like your favorite paint job, Ramon, though, let me know. Like... <laughs> This is my favorite, 100%. My new favorite paint job for Ramon. Previously, hmm, I don't even know what my previous favorite was though. It's probably a bad sign. <laughs> Those were all Chinese and then here is a Thailand Florida Ramon. Cool stuff. All right, I'll be right back with that Light McQueen. All right, so here is the Metallic Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. This was released in 2014 as a Target exclusive. It was in an acrylic case. It was kind of special until it got clearance for like $4 and then nobody really cared anymore. But yeah, this McQueen never appeared in a movie, but rather like some of the short stories, tunes, and 
is basically what all the Troc races were based on for McQueen. Like you can kind of see decals of this seep into those other paint jobs like the Ice Racer, Carbon Racer, Carnival, etc., etc., like Neon as well. And so, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a very, again, underrated release as I was talking about in my review of Robert Jam Jones. I believe that the Uncle Topolino's band releases are very underrated. And I think that this guy is too because it's a non-canon, quote unquote, release, not in the movies, which Mattel doesn't do that often. They don't really release much that hasn't appeared in the movies or the shorts. So let's take a look here at those sponsors I was telling you guys about. Now, even though this was made in China, they are all clumped together. So they don't look super clean, but you can see the overlap here. You have the Piston Cup. Sally's Motel, Tomater, you have Luigi's, there's a new Dynaco logo, Radio Springs Curio Shop, he has Ramon's down here, dang I wish they were clearer though, Ramon has an old Dynaco logo, Sarge's, so Sarge's is also there, he's got a bigger like Mater logo, oh I don't know, I guess it is the same, there's just, see yeah it's like a tag that's coming off of his toe hook there, and that's basically what it is here, but they have like this extra little gook at the bottom. I don't know. The decal is just so bad. Like all these are really terrible. Curio Shop. Mm, doesn't look like McQueen has that RS one though. I wonder what it says though, if it was clear. I might have to take a look at the book. Luigi's Piston Cup. This looks like the old Piston Cup logo actually. Just based on the font and how the cup itself looks. So yeah, that's really cool. A lot of people just kind of blend this in with the World Grand Prix version, but you know, he's got the radiator spring. Oh, this must be the logo. Huh, that must be the exact same logo that Ramon has here. That's so cool. Nice little crossover. We love that. Let me pull out the book though real quick. I just want to, whoop, map did it again. Oh, uh, we zoom out. All right, let's pull out the book. The book just gives us such a better look at those decals, if I can find it. I feel like I always get lost in this book. So many characters. And I'm lost. Here we go, okay, good. I can't really even see it on the book. The book's more like concept art, based on how like pastel-y, pastel-esque the uh, drawing is, it almost looks like it was drawn. But yeah, these are actually really cool. They fit together, two Radiator Springs centric paint jobs for these characters. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this review of Saludos Amigos Ramon. Let me know what you guys think of him in the comments section below. I'm a big fan and I hope you guys are as well. I will see you soon for another video. Bye now.